Welcome back, Legendary Petitier. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a custom villager in Minecraft. So using the Universal Minecraft Editor, we can do this. As you can see here, I have a villager already placed down. His traits are completely unedited. These are just what he normally has. And so what we're going to do is remember the coordinates of where he's standing, which for my case is 0, Z9. Once you've got all your coordinates down and you know where they are, you can go ahead, exit, save, and load up onto the program. Now that we're on the program, let's open up our save like normal. Then we're going to use the chunk locator tool and find our thing. Mine is at 0, 9. As you can see, now there's a villager entity. And here I can open up and see his current trades, which are these two. Now I can use the quick mod feature to easily edit his trades. If I go down to edit trades right here, it gives me a nice GUI where I can go ahead and touch up his trades. So I'm going to delete these trades and add my own new one. As you can see, it offers by default one dirt for one stone. Now what we're going to do is change it so that it, we can get it for free by setting the count to zero. So we don't need any items and we're going to get a barrier block in return. As well as that, we're going to set the max uses to 10,000 if we'd like to have un almost unlimited, or you can just completely disable max uses completely. I'm also going to disable reward XP, however if you want your trade to give XP, you can use that as well. And also disable villager generates trades if you do not want your villager to make more trades after you use your current ones. The second one, I'm going to make it give me monster spawners. Once again, another free trade. I'm also going to set the count to 64, so it gives me 64 when I get it for free. This next trade, I'm going to make trade some stone for other materials. So here I'm going to set the count to 64, so you need 64 cobblestone, and we're going to set the buy B tag to be sandstone. So that way the player needs 64 cobblestone and 2 sandstone. In return, that will give them a block of iron. This last trade, I'm going to make him trade iron and gold ingots for a diamond. This could be used for a bed war setting, where if you want to have a custom villager trade different currencies, then you can do something like this. As you can see, when I give 10 iron and 7 gold, I will get 1 diamond in return. Once I'm happy with how all my trades look, I can go ahead and exit that little bit there. Now what I'm going to do is add custom potion effects so that my villager will not be able to be killed in case a player wanted to try. I'm going to put on regeneration max for maximum time, and also disable show particles. I'm going to add resistance same thing I'm going to set this one just to 20 and as well as that health boost now it's going to be pretty much impossible to kill this villager so no player can ruin the map this way I'm also going to set his custom name to shop so that every time you look at the villager his name will appear as shop as you can see I can see all my trades here in case I wanted to make sure or do any advanced trading I can do that there as well once you're happy with your world you can save exit and load back onto the Xbox now that we're on the Xbox, let's go ahead and see if our villager worked. As you can see, all our trades are here. We can buy the barriers and monster spawners as they are free trades. Now these two, we need the required items. So this first one, I need the cobblestone and the sandstone. In return, I get one block of iron. And this second trade requires 10 iron and 7 gold. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you do drop a like on it. Make sure you guys do check out the program down in the description if you haven't already, as well as the creator Oprize LP. And subscribe if you want more tutorials like this in the future. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys next time.